Hi, my name is EJ Massa. I have been enjoying my little CRT television that has been modified to accept SCAR input. That means you get a much sharper, much more colorful image on this wonderful little television. Videos don't do it justice. It looks fantastic. The downside to this TV is it only has an external speaker and there's no audio output or headphone jack, which would be useful when I play late at night and don't want to make too much noise or wake up my children. Sure, I could play with the sound low or off, but half the fun of playing retro games is blasting those chip tunes. So that gave me an idea. How about I install a headphone jack myself? And since my X Station video had a lot of comments that are like, I could watch EJ solder blobs all day. Well, I decided to film it. This brings me to the standard disclaimer. A CRT can hold enough charge to stop a man's heart, even when unplugged. Now I won't be going near the tube or any of the high voltage components, but if you're doing any work on a CRT, be careful, take proper safety precautions, or find somebody who has enough knowledge who can help you out at your own risk, okay? This is what makes this particular TV special. It not only has composite input, but it also has this SCART connector that was added by a local CRT modder that I know. You do need to put a dummy connector into the video input before plugging in a SCART cable, or else it'll show a message on the screen that nothing's been connected. I have an RGB modded NES. I have a Super Nintendo that has a very clean RGB signal. I have a Genesis, which out of the box has great RGB output, and the PlayStation also, out of the box, great RGB output. All of them look great on this little TV. It's almost as sharp as a computer monitor, and it's perfect on this desk. So that brings us to this little guy. It's the headphone jack I'll be installing. It's a 3.5 millimeter closed circuit stereo headphone jack. The closed circuit aspect is what we want so that when you plug in the headphones, the speaker turns off and the sound goes to your headphones. I like the little clear window so you can see how the headphone interacts with all the connections inside. It comes with a little nut here, and the threaded part isn't the longest, but luckily the plastic walls of this TV aren't thick. So I don't think I need to countersink this to get it to fit into whatever hole I'll drill into the TV. Now we need to draw a schematic for my project. Here you have a speaker which goes to a positive and a negative. I looked up the schematic for the headphone component, and it looks like this, with all the pins listed by number. I'll disconnect the positive wire of the speaker and then connect pin 1 of the headphone jack to the negative along with a 100 ohm half watt resistor. That resistor is just to make sure you don't overload the headphones. I'll connect pin 3 to the positive terminal of the speaker and then I'll connect pins 2 and 5 together and that will connect to the other side of the positive lead. And with this, if there's no headphone jack in, the speaker works as normal. And once one is plugged in, the speaker is open and shuts off and the sound diverts to the headphones. So I'll do just that. I soldered a black wire, black for negative, to pin one and soldered the 100 ohm resistor in line with the wire. Don't worry, I'll shrink tube that exposed resistor later. Of course, I stripped the ends of the wire for connecting later. Then I soldered a wire to pin 5 and pin 2. Then soldered another red wire to pin 3. I cut the connection between pins 2 and 5 and twisted them together and added another wire so I can get that connection where it needs to go. So now I have my circuit that I can easily add to the speaker of the CRT just as I diagrammed out. For safety, I added shrink tubing over the resistor. You can use electrical tape, but shrink tubing is more reliable. In using a lighter, I quickly went back and forth on the tube, making sure not to stay in one place. And there we go. That's all protected. Then I did the same for this junction here, and I kept the color theme for fun as well. You can also use a hairdryer or a heat gun for shrink tubing, but fire is faster. I tend to use fire to solve most of my problems faster. Alright, time to open up the TV. Again, disclaimer, do your own research before doing any work inside a CRT. There were only four screws to remove, then I carefully opened up the shell. And right there you can see the wires of the speaker immediately. On my TV, the red wire is positive and the white wire is negative. Now to drill a hole in the case. I wanted to put it kind of in line with the center of the speaker to make it look clean. 
The diagram for the headphone input said the threaded part is six millimeters wide, so I ended up using a 15 by 64 inch drill bit, and that worked perfectly. To make splicing the wires a bit easier, I removed the speaker from its holder. I cut each of the wires because I'll basically twist them together with the wires for my circuit I created. Stripping them so that they have plenty of wire exposed, first I twisted the negative wires of the speaker with the wire that goes to pin 1, and I heated up some shrink wrap tubing to hold it together. I did the same for pin 3 in the positive terminal of the speaker. And finally, the other side of the positive wire, and twisted those together with pin 5 and pin 2. Now my headphone jack is connected properly, so I'll slide the speaker back into place, and the headphone jack goes into the hole I drilled, and the supplied nut is screwed into place. And there we go. All done. Time to close it up. I push the TV's casing back together and put the screws back into place. Now the moment of truth to test it out. Okay, the speaker works as normal. Let me plug in the headphones, and yes, it switches over. It works perfectly. Now you can hear it out of the headphones. Wonderful. Now I can blast my eardrums late at night while my family sleeps, but I'm alone and in the dark. It's the way God intended. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, you give it a like, comment below, and if, especially if you want to hear more of my dulcet tones, just systematically going through the steps I took to do something, let me know. Until next time. Bye.